Our next guest is ready to take a huge leap in his second NFL season in a wide open division. He has never lost a game at home as a starting quarterback in either college or the NFL, mm. and we are thrilled to have him in our home mm. here. Please welcome Falcons quarterback Desmond Ritter. Desmond! What's up, Desmond? How's it going? Thank y'all for having me. Oh, it's great having you. I remember having you on before the draft, and now here we are a year later and change, and you're the man in Atlanta. You know, Lamar Jackson was out there as a free agent. Your organization said, nope, we're going with Desmond Ritter. There were multiple quarterbacks on the board at number eight in the draft. They said, nope, sticking with Desmond Ritter. Free agency, sticking with Desmond Ritter. How's it feel to know that not only you're the quarterback and leader of the team, but that your coach, your general manager, and your owner have your back and backed it up with their actions this offseason? You know, it, it feels good, you know, knowing that, you know, that they have the trust in me, that they've seen the, that I've put in the work and the effort as long as everyone else um, to go out there and lead the team. So, you know, obviously throughout this offseason, you hear all the, the talks and everything, but, you know, just knowing from them that they have my full trust and, and respect, um, that they know that I can go out here and lead our team, uh, you know, it means everything to me. Yeah, there's been a ton going on in the offseason for your Atlanta Falcons. Made a ton of moves, getting different guys in there. The biggest one might have been at the running back position. You guys drafting B. John Robinson, already having Drake London, Kyle Pitts, Tyler Algier, C.P. Cordero Patterson. What was your reaction when you learned that you guys were drafting B. John Robinson? How do you think he can help you and this roster this year? Yeah, obviously, you know, as an offense, you look for explosive plays and, and get them any way you can, whether that's to Drake, whether that's to Kyle, um, a guy like John New, Matt Collins, it doesn't matter. Uh, but then, you know, when you can just hand the ball off and give it to a guy like Tyler Algier or Bijan or CP um, and let them go, you know, it just makes my job a lot easier. Um, so, you know, when they drafted Bijan, I just knew that, you know, this offense has something to be explosive. Um, you know, we're able to go out there and, you know, whether it's in the run game, pass game, play action, doesn't matter. Uh, you know, we think that we're going to be pretty explosive. Desmond, I want to go back to the way that Peter introduced you when he brought up that stat that you've never lost at home uh, in college or in the NFL as a starting quarterback because all the guys on the desk when Peter said that, they all went, hmm. Like, I mean, it's sort of, it's, it's an unusual and surprising stat. 2-0 last year at home with the Falcons, 26-0 and in games played at Cincinnati in college. That's insane. Um, when you hear that stat, what do you attribute that incredible run to? Yeah, obviously, you know, that, that's not a one-man stat. You know, that, that's a whole team stat as a whole. So, uh, you know, at, at Cincinnati, it wasn't just myself, but everyone around there with me. And then, you know, that, that's not something that you, like, work towards or, you know, that, that just comes. It's something that, that builds uh, through culture of the program, of the city, um, you know, having your, your whole city behind you, building the, the stadium out, filling the fans. Um, you know, it's just something that comes along with, you know, a winning culture and what comes along with it. Um, so, you know, we're excited here in Atlanta, obviously, uh, for this upcoming season. You know, hopefully fill out Mercedes-Benz and get it packing. Hey, Desmond, your first home game, 2023, we won against Bryce Young and my Carolina Panthers. Uh, you <laughs> yes, saw sir. Bryce uh, in 2021 uh, when the Cincinnati played Alabama in the Cotton Bowl. Now that you got to go against Bryce Young, you know that you guys are going to be a rival to years to come. What, what are you looking forward to and what do you see in Bryce uh, that you believe is going to make him a great competitor for you? Yeah, obviously, he's a great player, um, you know, both on and off the field. He's a great person. Uh, he's just smart, you know. He, he, does, he has the intangibles, and then, you know, you talk about on the field stuff. He's just able to deliver every ball, you know, that there can be. Um, and then, obviously, the way he manages his game is great. And, you know, for us, obviously, we get to see, the ch see each other twice a year. Um, so, you know, it's going to be a fun matchup. Obviously, he's one up on me, so I got to get one back on him. Uh, we'll look to do that first week. Hey, Dez, um, I know when you get drafted, one of the things you love to see is your teammates get drafted as well. And you always get excited to see where your teammate goes and to see them live out their dream. But if you guys do not land on the same team and you land on the opposite team, you always look forward to playing your teammate. I had a teammate in Sam Bradford who was a quarterback who got drafted. So I always look forward to the opportunity to play him. You have a teammate who you played with who's made a lot of noise in this league in Sauce Gardner. Have you guys kept in touch? Have y'all talked noise about week 13? Because this year, you will have to face your boy Sauce. Is that been a little back and forth? Do you have that circle on the calendar? Like, how do how, how you think that week is going to go? 
No, we stay in touch, but we know what it is as soon as we hit the field. You know, it's just strap it up and let's go. Um, but no, you know, that's my good buddy, Ahmad. Uh, you know, we've been through a lot together. Um, and obviously, you know, we saw, we played each other last year in preseason. So, you know, we was talking here and there during practice and everything. Uh, but no, you know, when the lights come on, you know, it's, it's going to be a fun one up there in New York. All right, so you got that one week 13. You got the Panthers week one. I think viewers watching at home are looking at this offense that Jason laid out. And you've got Bijan Robinson, who has been described as, you know, everything from the next Edron James to the next Matt Forte, whatever it is. And then you also have these towers at wide receiver in London and then, of course, at tight end in Pitt. I think everyone's waiting to see this major jump. Do you think this Atlanta offense could be one of these explosive offenses where we're talking about the Falcons in the same breath as we talk about maybe the Chiefs, some of these other big offenses that we saw this past season? Yeah, like I said, however that comes, you know, we just want to be explosive. Um, like I said, whether it's in the run game, the pass game, whatever it may be, uh, obviously this, this is a game where you got to put points up on the board, and that's something that we want to do as offense, um, all while taking care of the ball, controlling the game, um, just, you know, doing what you have to do to go out there and win. So, uh, you know, from, from the Falcons offense, you know, we can just go out there and just, you know, play our hardest and, you know, just expect to be explosive. I appreciate you saying that. I was hoping you'd come on the Good Morning Football show and just kind of say, yeah, we're going to be better than the Chiefs this year on offense. Like, what are we talking about? Look what we got. But no, okay. Desmond, you do your thing. I appreciate it. I wanted something. All right. It's good. Hey, Desmond, uh, you know, you talk about all the offensive guys. I want you to talk about uh, one of the rookie guys that I know uh, you guys drafted, a uh, Utah kid. Um, Clark Phillips. How has he been doing in practice? Uh, you know, I know he's going against rookies, uh, but now you guys are heading into veterans and rookies all integrated together. How's that been going for a young guy like him so far? Yeah, obviously, we're, we're just about to start phase three today, uh, OTA. So, you know, to get against each other, offense versus defense. Um, other than that, you know, we've been kind of split O and D. Um, so, obviously, he's been in here, been lifting with us, been in meetings, obviously, on the defensive side of the ball. Um, but, you know, after practice, you know, I go with the receivers and the receivers and DBs are working releases versus each other. Um, and you just kind of watch his technique and watch how he goes and watch how he learns. Um, you know, he's going to be a good player. So, you know, I'm excited to see what he does and what he has for us. Cool. Clark Phillips. I yeah, like it. I like it. Good rookie class here for the Falcons. Um, Desmond, good luck with everything this season. You're a QB1 in the NFL. There's only 32 of them. We're wishing you the best of luck, even if it's against the Panthers and the Buccaneers this season. Desmond, be glad him. I am done. <laughs> <laughs> be glad I yeah, am I don't done. Know about yes. that, but sure. You yeah, should yeah, say yeah. thank you. <laughs> yes, say thank you, girl, sh- for retiring. Don't worry about old guys yes. on the table, man. As she says in shorts. <laughs> <laughs> hey, have a good luck. Have thank a good you, Desmond. Luck. Yeah, good luck. Yeah, thank y'all for having me. Thank, thank you. Thank you.